Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much for the love and support. Uh, basically saying that my videos resonate with you, sharing the videos, dropping lines, especially positive vibes towards me greatly appreciate especially through this trying time and with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way i'm sorry y'all i gotta chill <laughs> uh definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video also if you feel like you are comfortable enough i would love for you to drop a line i would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if if it's about the content of the you know the the feedback of the content of the video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards positive direction also if you feel like the video has been giving you good vibes and um good information that you would love to share with a loved one family or friend who's going through some trying times and need validation or just some kind words or even confirmation to let them know if they're going down the right path or not please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit once again thank you so much for the love and support that you've been giving me it's all greatly appreciated and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video today i'm listening to this beautiful uh, meditation um, it's called instant comfort and relax renew your mind body soul meditation music inner peace and balance and um, I will post that link in the description box below and today my video is about twin flame 101 hey okas our daily battles with ourselves you lord we can be our own worst enemy we can be our own worst critic and i must be talking about something good because i'm like a steady flashing because if y'all see it's been raining all day so it's not light outside and you see this just the i got my fan on but it's coming from this direction so i know anytime i feel like anytime I really get on some really good content or something that the that that the masses or you know universe want me to speak on um the lights start flashing or i'm on that that positive road or my even my energy is lifted up because i was really going through some stuff the last 24 or 48 hours so if y'all left me some comments or y'all emailed me and i have not um replied back I'm, I'm going to it's just I've been going through so much stuff and like I said even when it comes to videos as well as comments if I'm not in my right space headspace or right vibes I just don't like you know come com, you know reciprocating stuff like that I just don't like pulling that out because we go through enough as in past but yeah we go through these daily battles with ourselves all the time because it's like right now we're going through so many shifts like with the spring equinox the mercury retrograde i'm like god dog it just seemed like we went through that you know as soon as i said that light flash we just went through that um just like it, i know it was last year i don't I'm, i gotta look up and see if it's more than one one time a year because i'm like god dog we just went through this it seemed like a few months ago i'm like you know i'm tired of record retrograde and all this other stuff but we're going through a warfare we're going through things we battle with ourselves we battle with negative people we battle with narcissists we did but battle with sociopaths psychopaths you know psychos you know anybody that's negative comes towards our way people that constantly want to you know challenge you all the time even though it's good to be challenged at times but when you know somebody's being deceptive <laughs> that can be that that's that's enough for itself because it's just like when people are already struggling to care for themselves or like themselves you will get that negativity and you know at times i i i get became a tough skin but it's just like the battle with me is with myself it's not with other people you know even though i've had people come at me negative like i've had people you know youtube i could be uploading videos and i probably got six or seven in line because it's like you only can upload one at a time and it'll be something they're like oh we can't update right now and we have a problem with updating and you have like five or six other ones waiting to go in queue all of a sudden all that stuff is deleted and if you type all the stuff up like the descriptions the tags that takes time that's like five or ten minutes no five to eight minutes 
towards that depending on how much you want to put in there if you're trying to add on different links or you know trying to add other people's channels towards that you know because i try to support everybody you know there's a lot of people that i'm subscribed to that i try to go and show my support towards them it's just been so crazy you know with me as well because it's like i'm trying to keep myself in that 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 positive state of mind i'm going through a lot you know, like I've said in my other videos, you know, April is not my favorite month. You know, it's just like I'm counting down the days and I try not to count down the days when it comes to my dad's anniversary on the 21st. But it's been a lot. It's been a lot. I got to stay off the Internet because a lot of people are posting his pictures a lot. And it's just like I hear my grandmother, Maddie. I hear my dad. I hear my, my grandfather, John. I hear my adopted mom that passed. You know, I hear my best friends that passed, you know, telling me we're sending you this loving energy. We're sending you that uplift, you know. We know things are getting hard, but, you know, you have to be patient. And I'll be giving the universe the side eye so you got one more time to tell me to be patient or things are around the corner. I'm just like, it's things around the corner like down the street or things down the corner like Antarctica, you know, like the North Pole. You know, that could, I mean, it could be any corner, like my mama say. It could be any corner that you're about to go through. And I'm just like, you know what, you have to be able to, because the person that can, you, that can master patience can master anything and I had to keep telling myself that you have to master patience and master that you can be able to master anything you won't you won't let negative people come at you you know I have you know I'm dealing with my ex whatever and there's times that he tried me and there'll be days like he'll send something a text just to get up under my skin and I'm just like Lord just pray for him pray for him Jesus pray for him and it's just like you're not the only one being hit but you know some people you're not going to see the whole thing. They'll try to mask and put a facade on like everything's fine. And it's just like, you know, why am I getting hit with negativity when I'm the positive one? And then when I actually, you know, stand up for myself and say, bump this, I'm not taking this no more. You're not going to disrespect me. You're not going to do this. You know, all of a sudden, bam, you get that negative negativity. I might hold up, but I was the positive one. You know, and that mess come quicker than the ones for the negative ones. And it's just like, they're getting it too. And I have to keep telling myself they're getting it too. But they're not going to allow you to see that because they know when it's coming towards you. And that's that, that's the blessing within itself of being a spiritual conduit. When people tend to bad mouth talk you or people send bad energy towards your way or wish something bad on you, they don't realize they're hexing themselves. Because that was like when I was reading upon that and they're saying, you know, the best side of things, you know, when everything goes about it, because with spiritual conduits, you tend to get the double edged, you know, double edged sword. You know, you'll have people that will come to you for needs and, you know, they're going through their you know mental breakdown. They might be going through a divorce, going through a breakup, might be on the verge of going homeless, or on the verge of losing their job. And they're about to, on the verge of losing their mind. And you got the people who are going to come attack you or wish something bad on you. The people are going to get blessed for the people that are, you know, coming to you for help and, you know, wishing you well. But the ones that are coming attacking you or, you know, I've had people just try to come in my life again just to be nosy because it's like so many people I've had subscribed to me again like not I mean not subscribe to me but add me on friend request because they know what time of year this is and they're trying to see what I'm going to post and it's like don't do that to yourself <laughs> do not do that to yourself because it's like you, you're only stabbing yourself when you try to do stuff like that just to be you know you're not being there to be a friend you're not being there to be supportive you're just trying to see how bad I'm going to grovel or how bad I'm going to you know be upset or whatever like that and people don't realize when you do bad things like that to people you you're messing your own self up and it's just not just with conduits but it is like a really bad situation but i noticed that people they wish something bad on me or talk bad about me they end up getting sick or something bad happens to them and it's like when I see it close knit and I'm just like, oh, now I see what they're talking about. Because it it's just like certain people I know say something bad about me and all of a sudden they have like their jaw swollen because all their gums are swollen really bad. And I mean, whole jaw is looking like, you know, I had my dad, my adopted dad. He did some so bad stuff to me. And the last time I seen him, it looked like he would Popeye the sailor man from the jaw down. And I'm like damn <laughs> you don't mess yourself up and didn't even care to ask him if he was okay but it, it's just like so many things have been on where you know you only can allow things to affect you nothing can affect you unless you allow it 
You know, I had to keep telling myself that. Don't, when you're going through things, stop overanalyzing things. Be able to say, okay, this has happened to me. Let me allow this just to flow. Let go of it and allow it to release. You know, some people will tell me, you got to just let it go. You got to just let it go. I understand you mean well, but until you get put in somebody's shoes, you know, you might know where your family is. You probably got in touch with your family. You know, I'd rather have a dad be dad in my life than have a dad that's been trying to be in my life since I was born and people kept them away just for financial purposes. I'd rather have a dad be dad than that. You know, but it's just some people are so quick to tell me to let that go when they don't know what that feeling is. And I mean, some of them, some people I understand they mean well, but then some of them I'm just like, you know what, if you don't get off of this with me, <laughs> I understand I need to release. I understand I need to heal. I'm still healing. But when you truly know the concept of the things that I went through, knowing this is not somebody off the street, but just family, just family that has done this to you, not, you know, not a distant cousin, but adopted dad, stepmom, you know, try to turn your family, your children against you had the ones that was your favorite aunt or your favorite uncle they don't went ahead and soaked their dad on you know talons into them so they're like looking at me sideways when i tell them what went on but it, it's just like i just don't have time i i know i need to heal i'm doing that on a daily basis you know because I, I tell people you know it's still a wound that i still have to play devil's advocate with you know i fight with my demons when it comes to that all the time because it's like you're already grieving because you lost a parent and then you have a parent that is out there and just, you know, they're scared because the dark secret is going to come out. They don't want that being told. Or somebody don't got to them and said something. So that makes them want to not be in my life. But that's a lot of stuff I got to heal from. That's a lot of, you know, that's a lot of pill to swallow. Because if you know, if you have your family in your life, be grateful for that. You know, if they're, they're that kind of family you need to cut off, then I understand that as well too. But you have to learn how to be happy within your own company you have to be happy to be within your own self and i have to learn that each and every day i fight with that every day you know even though i tell y'all to be positive i have to give myself that self pet talk as well be positive good things are coming to you the things that you're pushing out is going to bring some blessings to you and it's not going to be what you pray for it's going to be magnetized just because of how many people's lives you're touching how many people's lives you are helping them recognize things within themselves they weren't able to see. You know, I see a lot of y'all. Y'all are beautiful. Even though I have not seen you, you know, physically or even on, you know, pictures or whatever like that, I can see wounded souls. But I can also see strong spirits at the same time because we're not, you know, they, they we get put to the test all the time. You know, the harder your test is, the stronger it's going to make you be. And I have to keep telling myself that all the time because I beat my own self up. I'm not going to allow nobody else to do it. I've allowed that to happen. But then I beat myself up for allowing people to get to me like that. You know, I had to have that tough skin. You know, like I said, I'll tell people if I can sit down and tell you my life story from beginning to end of what I did dealt with, you probably want to lynch off my family as well. <laughs> You're like, what the hell have you been through? This happened to you and nobody's been held responsible? No. And I'm surprised I ain't blow my own head off. Just to believe me, I tried to commit suicide a few times, but obviously God wasn't finished with me because I didn't want to be here. I didn't want to feel this pain, especially after I found out who my dad was and I passed, you know, and he passed away. You don't know how much of a rage I went through. I cried. I mean, if you see me from the beginning of my videos, you will see me as like where I was skinny. I was crying. You know, I was angry. You know, there's times I'm still, I'm more of disappointed and hurt more than I am angry you know that just unturned off to you know I'm just so disappointed in my family I'm so sad about what my family put me through because I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy but it's just to know that these things have brought me to y'all these things have allowed me to know I'm all I have all these gifts like a multitude of gifts that I can be able to help myself as well as other to find their light and be able to let them know their light shines brighter than they ever realized they just have to you know look for it we forget it sometimes when we go through trying times and situations but lord i've been sitting up here talking on so many times on these videos and when i'm over 14 minutes 
it tends to take about four or five hours just for it to upload. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this off. I'm going to go ahead and get my shout out on my next video. But stay blessed. Stay safe. Be responsible with everything you do. Have a blessed, happy weekend. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Peace. Be wild.